In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi V3 Model B+. We're going to show you how to format the SD card, install the operating system, and get your Raspberry Pi up and running. So the first step is to format our new 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So when you buy this Samsung 32 gigabyte card, it's going to come with an adapter for a standard SD card. In addition to that, we're going to need an SD card reader so that we can format it on a computer. So let's go ahead and place our micro SD card into our SD card adapter. And then we can place our SD card into our SD card reader. And now we can go ahead and insert our SD card reader into our computer and get started with the formatting. Okay, so now that we have our SD card plugged into the computer, let's just pull open a finder window and verify that we can see the new drive, and we can. Uh, these names are subject to change, but we should see some sort of new removable drive now located in the finder window. So the next step is going to be to download the SD formatter software. So there are different ways to format an SD card, but Canakit provides some free software that seems to work pretty well. So we're going to use that for this tutorial. So if we just open up a new Chrome window and go to canakit.com forward slash tools forward slash SD formatter, we can download this formatting software. Okay, so now if I come over to applications, I see a new application called SD card formatter. So let's launch this app. So let's just be careful and make sure that we have the right drive selected. Um, this looks right to me, mass storage device media, 32 gigabytes, SD. And that's what I expect for the card that I have plugged in. We just want to make sure that we don't have a different drive selected because formatting the card will erase everything on that card. So the next thing is we want to make sure we're doing overwrite format, not quick format. I tried using quick format and I had some issues. So make sure that you have overwrite format selected and go ahead and initiate that. And this may take several minutes to complete. Okay, so once our card is formatted, the next step is to download the Raspbian, which is Raspberry Pi Debian uh, operating system. So we're going to download that image and uh, put, place it onto the SD card. So some of, the, um, some of the tutorial guides will instruct you to use Noobs, which is an operating system selection tool. Um, I've had issues trying to get noob to work, noobs to work on uh, the SD card that I'm using. Every time I plug it in, um, it just generates an error. So uh, I have had success with downloading Raspbian directly onto the card. And really with noobs, you end up downloading Raspbian anyway, unless you wanted one of the other operating systems. But we're just going to be covering Raspbian in this um, tutorial here. So if we come to the official raspberrypi.org download section, uh, we'll have a number of different images here, and we just want the Raspbian image. And um, we'll do the full, not the, um, not the light version. So we'll download this as a zip. And it's going to be 1.6 gigs, so it might take a couple minutes depending on your internet connection. And then we're going to mount this image onto the SD card, and then we should be able to boot up our Raspberry Pi. Okay, once our download is complete, we can open it up in the Finder. And it is a zip file, so we're going to want to double click and extract it into a directory. And again, this is just the Raspbian operating system image. Okay, so now we have this raspbian.img, which is uh, pretty big. Um, this is the image for the operating system. So there's a couple different ways to get this onto the SD card, but we're going to use a tool to help us do that called Etcher. So if we come back to our incognito window here, we can go to Canakit 
dot com forward slash tools forward slash etcher and we can go ahead and download this okay let's install this okay so now if I come over to my applications I should see E T C H E R etcher okay so for select image, we're going to use the Raspbian image that we just downloaded. Here it is. 2018-0418 Raspbian stretch.img. So that is our image. Now we just need to select our drive. So again, 32 gigabyte mass storage SD. And then we can just select flash. And this may take a while. Again, that's a five gigabyte image and we're writing it to our micro SD card. So it may take a couple minutes. It says 10 minutes here. So we'll just let this run. Okay, so now that we've finished writing the Raspbian image to the SD card, all we have to do now is to eject the card, the SD card, and then we can get ready to um, insert it into our Raspberry Pi chip and turn it on. Now all we need to do is remove our SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi chip. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So if we look underneath the chip, we will see a slot here for the micro SD card and it goes in right like that. Okay, and now all we have to do is hook up our peripherals. So we have a mouse, a keyboard, and a monitor, and then also a power cable. So for the monitor, I am using an HDMI cord. For the mouse, this is just gonna be a standard USB cable and for the keyboard same thing standard USB cable And then the final step is going to be to plug in the power cable here. And it should turn on our Raspberry Pi. Okay, and we can see the operating system has turned on. If we click our start menu here, we can see that we have some software. Let's see, if we go to Office, and then Writer, we should be able to demonstrate that our keyboard is working as well. Testing, one, two, three. And that's it, guys. That's how you set up um, Raspbian Pi on the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus chip. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Feel free to join our Slack channel if you have any questions or want to get involved in our community. And thanks for listening.